Hello everyone, I am Divyanjali, presenting my joint work with Subodh Sharma on Thread Modular Analysis of Release Acquired Concurrency. The objective of this work is to design an efficient and sound reachability analysis technique for concurrent programs under the weak memory model. The focus of our work is one such memory model, namely the RA or Release Acquired Memory Model, the RA memory model is defined axiomatically using the following relation. The first relation is sequence before. For now, we can understand sequence before to be similar to program order. The next relation is modification order or MO. Modification order is a total order over the stores of a variable across all threads. In this example, we have two stores of variable X w1x and w2x these two can be ordered in two different ways w1 can be ordered before w2 and w2 can be ordered before w1 both of these represent a possible mo over variable x if they are consistent with the other relations in the program we use hesse diagram to represent modification orders per variable mo1 and mo2 here represent the possible modification orders across all variables in the program. Synchronizes with or SW is another relation. Whenever a load operation reads from a store operation, they both synchronizes. The synchronization introduces happens before relation from any alpha ordered before the store to any beta ordered after the store. The next relation is happens before or HP. It is defined as the transitive closure of SW union SP. Having understood the RA axioms, let's see why the RA memory model is of interest. This is MP or message passing example. The first thread is writing first variable X and then Y. The second thread is first reading variable Y and then X. For all examples in this presentation, we assume that global variables are initialized with 0. The question is, if instruction C reads from instruction B, can instruction D read variable X as 0? Since reads from between C, B and C causes an SW, the instruction A must happen before instruction D. Hence, D cannot read the value 0. In a sense, RA memory model forces that all the information available to a store should be available to the load after synchronization. Note that some of the other memory models such as PSO and RMO that allow reordering between loads of different variables or stores of different variables from the same thread will allow this behavior. The example IRIW, independent reads, independent writes, shows another interesting RA behavior. Here, we have one store of variable X and one store of variable Y. Thread 2 is first reading variable X and then Y. Thread 3 is first reading variable Y and then X. If there are some dependencies from instruction C to D and from E to F, these two pair of instructions will not be allowed to reorder. These RFs depict the behavior in which instruction C first read variable X is 1 and then D reads variable Y as 0. This implies that thread 2 observed instruction A before it observed instruction B. Similarly, thread 3 observed instruction B before it observed instruction A. Since these RFs do not introduce any ordering between instructions A and B, this is a valid behavior under the RM memory model. This shows that different threads can observe distinct orderings over unrelated stores of different variables. Under any multi-copy atomic memory model, such as TSO, PSO, and RMO, such behavior will cause this cycle in happens before relation, and hence it will be invalid. To answer why RA memory model, we can note the following points. First, the RA memory model has a well-defined semantics. Second, as we saw with the message passing example, the RA memory model provides strong guarantees that enable programmers to understand behaviors intuitively. Third, the RA memory model allows some weak behavior as we saw with example IRIW. It enables compilers and architectures to reorder instructions for better optimization. 
the existing work for analyzing programs under RA memory model can be divided into three categories. There are some bounded techniques such as VBMC. There are several proof and logic based techniques and some runtime model checkers. Each of these techniques has their own limitations. Bounded techniques cannot cover the entire state space and hence are insufficient to verify the correctness of a program. Proof and logic frame based framework are hard to use as a push button technique. Runtime model checkers are precise but slow. These model checkers can analyze the program for only one possible input. Clearly, there is a scope for an automated and efficient technique that can provide the proof of correctness. While designing a technique for the RA memory model, we need to consider the following. Threads do not observe a global ordering as we saw with IRIW example. RF relation carries available information from store to load and we want the analysis to be efficient and sound. Keeping in mind these observations, we propose to first use thread modular analysis to perform thread local reasoning. This allows us to maintain information over different threads separately. Second, we propose to keep the ordering information in the program state and carry it from the store to the load along the RF edges. The third problem is solved using abstraction for efficient and sound analysis. Our central contribution PO domain allows us to keep the ordering information and perform abstractions and refinements over it. The main contribution of this work is a novel abstract domain PO domain. This domain is used to keep abstracted ordering information in the program state. In this example, a valid execution corresponding to the depicted RF relation can have two possible MOs. First, with the ordering A, B, E, F, and second, with ordering A, E, B, F. A set of execution with these RFs can be represented by a set consisting of MO1 and MO2. We use this set of MOs and abstract it to a PO as our first level abstraction. We have defined alpha abstraction function and gamma concretization function. Our abstraction function alpha keep only the common orderings in all the MOs in T and concretization function gamma enumerates all possible total orders that consist orderings in P. We will see with this example how we use the PO domain for our analysis. When we encounter a store operation, we append it to the corresponding PO. Here, the event generated from instruction A is appended to the partial order of variable X in the program state. The, variable, the value of X is also updated in this program state. Similarly, the event from instruction B is appended to the PO of variable X and the value of X is updated to 2 when we analyze instruction B. While analyzing a load instruction, if some store can interfere with the load, we carry the program state from the store to load. Before carrying this information, we check if the store can actually interfere with the load or not. For example, here at instruction D, an event from instruction A is already a part of this program state. Hence, an interference from A to D is not possible. This means that D cannot read from instruction A. Further, we ask if we really need the entire modification order. The RA axiom states that SB over the stores of a variable is subset of modification order over the same variable. Therefore, if some PO consists of an event from B, we may conclude that event from instruction A has already occurred. We leverage this to define an upper approximation operator alpha sharp for this PO domain. The alpha sharp abstraction simply forgets sequence before stores. TMAI or thread modular analysis is a well explored area in literature. Thread modular analysis starts by analyzing each thread independently under some environment. Initially, the environment is empty. 
while analyzing each thread we compute the effects that this thread can cause over other threads these effects are called interferences in the example here we have two threads each of which will be analyzed independently under an initially empty set of interferences. After analyzing these threads once, we figure out that T1 is changing the values of variables X and Y. These values can potentially affect other threads. So we add these to the set of interferences. Further, since the environment has been updated, Thread 2 will explore new reachable program states in the iteration 2. In this iteration, we find no new interference. Therefore, the analysis reaches a fixed point. Thread modular abstract interpretation uses thread modular analysis in conjunction with abstract interpretation. This means that program states and environment are abstracted. After understanding the proposed pure domain and using it for the RA memory model, we can now go over some of the theoretical results established over this PO domain. The definitions and proof sketch of these can be found in the paper. We show that the set T, where each element is set of MO, forms a composite under this ordering relation. Lemma 2 shows that the set of partial order with this ordering relation join, meet, bottom, and top forms a complete lattice. We have defined a widening operator over the lattice P for faster convergence. In the interest of time, we have not discussed the details here. I encourage you to go through our paper for the details. Lemma 3 proves the correctness of this widening operator. We have proved that the abstraction function alpha and the concretization function gamma forms a Galois connection between poset T and lattice P. We show that the upper approximation function alpha sharp is sung over lattice P. We have implemented the PO domain and the technique for the RA memory model in a tool named Priory. The benchmarking results of Priory are encouraging compared to the state of art, the art tools. This table summarizes results of bug hunting. As you can see here, the time of priory is competitive to all the other tools. In fact, runtime model checkers time out on this benchmark while priory is able to analyze it in 0.06 seconds. VBMC is a bounded technique. It is bounded in terms of view switches. We start the execution of VBMC with two view switches and increase it by one until the bug is found. The times shown here are cumulative time of all these runs. This table shows a comparison of these tools for proving the correctness of programs. Recall that VBMC is a bounded technique. To generate proof of correctness, we need to run VBMC with maximum possible view switches in that benchmark. For this experiment, we assume that none of these benchmarks have more than 500 possible view switch bounds. The result of VBMC shown here are for 500 view bounds. It is evident from this table that Priory can prove the correctness in these benchmarks in a reasonable time while most of the other tools are timing out on one or the other benchmark. Priory gave some false positives such as in benchmark Fibonacci. These false positives resulted from using numeric abstraction for variable values rather than the proposed technique or the imprecision in abstracted PO domain. To summarize, in this work, we have proposed a thread modular abstract interpretation based technique for the RA memory model. This technique uses our proposed partial order domain. We have also designed an abstract upper approximation operator for this domain. We use this PO domain to define the transfer functions for RA memory model. All of this has been implemented in a tool named Priory. The benchmarking result of Priory are promising. In future, we would like to use this PO domain for other mem relaxed memory models as well. Our tool Priory is publicly available on GitHub. Feel free to explore it and contact us if there is any feedback or issue. Thank you.